Hello listeners, this is your SSK and today we have an interesting story from Chandamama and the name of the story is Lucky Charm. Once upon a time there lived a girl named Nina. She lived in a quiet friendly village deep in the forest of the Himalayas. The village was called Gangapur. Nina and her younger sister Shweta picked corn, cooked food and cleaned the small house they lived in. Since their mother was too ill to attend to any chores, she just lay in bed reading books, checking Nina and Shweta's homework, listening to music, taking her medicines, and going for frequently checkups. Nina and Shweta often played near the lake close to Gangapur with their friends. One day, while Nina was in woods trying to find berry bushes to pick, she spotted a sparkle of light that came from a nearby tree. Curious, she approached it. She picked it up and grasped it. It was a heart-shaped locket that was polished in gold. The gold finish caught the light of the sun and ran across the Nina's face. She opened it and looked inside. There was nothing in it. Then she closed it carefully and dropped it onto the apron pocket and ran off. Back home, she took the bucket full of berries that she had picked and put them on the kitchen table. It was Shweta's seventh birthday today and Nina knew she was in for some extra cooking. Soon it was time for dinner, Shweta was excited and Nina was exhausted. But all the hard work paid off when everybody complimented her cooking. Dinner over, it was time to open the presents. Sweta eagerly tore open one wrapped in a paper with stars all over it. It was an Anjali doll, which was very rare and very expensive. Nina looked at the card and realized it was from her mother. Thank you mom, Sweta exclaimed happily. Then she got a worried look on her face. But this must have cost you a lot of money. You didn't have to go through all this trouble just to give me an exclusive Anjali doll. Nothing is too much for my sweet children, her mother said affectionately hugging Sweta. The girl then grabbed a present with roses printed all over it. Roses were her favorite flower. Inside was a beautiful music box with some exquisite carvings all over it. The gift was from Nina. Oh, thank you so much, sister, Sweta said. Delighted with the gift, I will treasure it. Nina smiled. Here, she said, pointing to a tiny key in the lock of the music box. You just simply turn the key to the left and it opens. You can play almost every tune on it. Wait a minute. Who are these two gifts from? Nina said, picking two more gifts that remained. She sneaked a peek at the card. It was from Grandpa. The other gift was from her father. Eagerly, Sweta tore open the parcel and it revealed a beautiful heart-shaped locket, just like one Nina had picked up. Sweta opened it up and saw that there were two pictures of herself and her. Sweta opened it up and saw that there were two pictures of herself and her mother and Nina and their father. The last present which still remained unopened was covered with the lilies another of Sweta's favorite flowers. In it was a delicate glass dolphin, one of Sweta's favorite animal. Soon Nina and Sweta got ready for bed. Nina carefully put away the locket in her jewelry box and snuggled into her bed covers. Today sure was a great day, wasn't it Nina? Sweta asked. Yes, it sure was, Nina admitted. Now go to sleep, Sweta. Okay, good night, good night. As she waited for sleep to take over, Nina wondered whether the locket that she found in the woods has not brought joy for the entire family. The locket was also to prove a lucky chum by helping her mother recover from her illness, enabling her to lead a normal life once again.